Exactly. You all right? You need help? You haven't, you haven't done enough today. You want to help out with the... Uh, <laughs> how you feel? Uh, sense of relief, to be honest. You know, I think just from a team perspective, saying out there 1-3 and three sounds a lot better than 0-4. And, four. and uh, I know everyone's a little bit relieved, a little bit of weight off everyone's back, and hopefully we can relax and just go play now from here. Do you feel comfortable out there? I got there. You know, early on I think I, I scrambled too much, didn't go through my progressions, but uh, I eventually got there. Fast start help as well? Calm you down a little bit? No, not really, but yeah, <laughs> it, it, it helped. But, uh, you know, going through my progression, slowing the game down, seeing what the defense is doing, that'll help more. Was that, did that begin to take over sort of partway through the second when you hit those, like, I think you hit five like, different receivers on six different plays? You know, was it that, happened, about, yeah, I'd say the two-minute drill or three-minute drill up here uh, at the end of the first half when I was starting to get in the rhythm and make some plays. And then you're right, coming out in the second half and having some success as well really helped. Is it like Coach Austin? Let it develop, let it develop. Yeah. You can see that. Was he telling you that? Was yeah. Like I said, early in the game, uh, I think I was just too happy to run, you know, going too quickly through my progression and not seeing the defense well enough. So that is what he's saying. Can you talk a little bit about CJ? I mean, he was obviously had good numbers production-wise, but there were a couple situations where he stepped up yeah. in blitz protection that seemed to give you that extra split second that you needed. Yeah. Like I said, uh, I mean, the offensive line is kind of a thankless job. Same for CJ, picking up those blocks. A lot of stuff that he does well. Can go unnoticed. He's really complete back, and without him, I don't know where we'd be as an offense. Did you talk to Henry after the game? I did. I mean, I talked to him during the week. Uh, ribbed him a little bit in the interview with you guys. He ribbed me back. He's a great guy. I love seeing him. What did you say to him after the game? Just said good game. I mean, he was encouraging me. He's a great guy. He really is. You feel any different winning this game over him at all? No, not nothing to do with him. Uh, it's just good to see him. How do you guys build from this now going in against Winnipeg? Well, hopefully we do build. I don't. I mean, hopefully we just get on a roll and. Be more consistent in practice, uh, attention to detail on our plays, uh, more focus, everyone getting used to what we're doing offensively, defensively, and special teams, and just build. You said you maybe ran too much, but you say that that first quarter really set up passes. Yeah, it did. Maybe, maybe it's a blessing in disguise, but I think uh, you know, a few times I was too happy to go. Dan, how did it feel to get the whole game to find your rhythm instead of coming in and out? It felt better to have a week of practice and a week of preparation more than anything. Um, that helped, being able to you know, see mistakes in practice, learn from them, and grow from that. What did it mean to you, too, to get the winning touchdown on a play you're very familiar with? Well, quarterback sneak, no big deal. I wish CJ would have freaking finished it. Maybe he'd lose a few pounds next week. All right? Thanks, Dan. Yeah. Thanks.